In this video I'm going to show you how you can work with extensions in SketchUp. Sometimes they're called plugins and they used to be called plugins for the current version and just for uh, consistency everybody keeps calling them extensions now and so that's why I'm gonna just refer to them as extensions uh, from, from here on. In this video I'm showing you the easy way how you can work with extensions through the extension warehouse which is now integrated in SketchUp and I'm going to reserve the more detailed instructions for a second video that I'm going to post afterwards where I go into some alternative ways how you can install those. This is really important for those that are still working with older versions of SketchUp where the extension warehouse isn't integrated yet. Alrighty, so what do you got when you start up SketchUp? So first of all, you typically don't have an extension menu right here. I installed some extensions already, which means that it appeared. By default, it's not there. So if you don't have one, don't worry. You most probably just haven't installed your first extension yet. What you're going to see too is this button here, the extension warehouse button. Um, it's on the default toolbar. It's also on the um, warehouse toolbar which is right here so you can find it right here next to basically the 3D warehouse anyways let's start right here by clicking the extension warehouse button and this gets you to the main um, window of the extension warehouse which is where a lot of extensions are um, and where you can download and install them very easily. So there's lots of categories here. You can search extensions by industries, you know, people that have published a lot of extensions and so on and so forth. You're also going to see here on the top right um, that there is a login feature and you're going to need a Google account to be able to log in. Um, logging in is useful in that uh, the warehouse then knows which extensions you've downloaded and it can tell you if there's an update available for any of those and you can you can change computers and basically reinstall all your extensions very very quickly it's a one-click thing at this point so you see here I'm logged in if you're not logged in it'll prompt you to log in click the button OK all the Google prompts and you're gonna be logged in at that point once you're logged in you can search for extensions if you know the the title or you can you know browse for extensions I'm just going to use the top one right here I think it's the most popular one right now the SDL exporter extension and I'm going to install it into my system now you see right here it says install this only shows up when you're uh, logged in and at that point all you need to do is just click the install button then it is going to give you a warning you know whether you actually want to do this and so on and so forth and you're gonna say yes and while it's installing here we go um, you'll see this dialog which basically says it's now available for your use and usually you don't have to restart SketchUp at all at this point any toolbars should be available if they were installed and so on and so forth and once you OK this my page updates and I can now use the extension so I can click this out and this particular one installs under the file menu item right here under export STL um, extensions can install in all kinds of locations um, many of them will create a menu under the extensions menu but if it's a tool it'll come in here if it create something like 3D shapes it'll come in here and as with this file thing it'll come in right under here so check the documentation for the extension and make sure you know where it's coming in um, okay so next step would be to find out what you want to do when you don't need those anymore so let's assume I wanted to disable some extension. I want to check what I have basically. So I'm going to go to the extension warehouse again and I'm going to click on my extensions. 
Again, you have to be logged in for that in order to be able to do that. Once this loads and once you're in, at that point you can see which extensions are installed on your machine. You'll see a list right here and you see up here these are SketchUp 2015 compatible extensions because that's the version that I'm running right now. This is where you can um, uninstall all, install all, you, or you can disable individual extensions right here and uninstall them very conveniently. It works really well. It's right here. You'll also see, and I got a real mess here with lots of um, extensions, but you see up here, those are the ones that are installed. These are the ones that are uninstalled, but that can be uh, um, reinstalled very quickly. And then further down, there might be a list called incompatible extensions, which means that the people that put these extensions together haven't certified them for the current version. So this first one here works perfectly fine with the current version, which is why I'm using it. But <coughs> you might run into trouble here. So you might be careful when you when you use any of these here, basically. Um, if there are any updates available for any of the extensions, that'll show up right here. In my case, there's nothing nothing available right now. And um, another tip is if you were to switch computers or if you uh, uh, change SketchUp versions or something like this or reinstall the software, this install all button allows you to basically get all your extensions right back where you need them. So this is where you maintain your extensions um, in the easy fashion. There are different ways to doing that, and I'm going to explain that in a different video. But for the most part, that is all handled right here. So you know now where to find them in the extension warehouse and how to install them, and then how to use them, of course.